Hey guys, so we're here in our uh, nice little Marriott Delta uh, room. We're going to the Orlando Informer event today, so that's what you guys had to look forward to. But just before we start, I wanted to start off with a quick little PSA. Uh, if you're going to Busch Gardens, can you guys do me a favor and not jump into the alligator exhibit, please? Uh, I'm not, I, I really like Busch Gardens, and I don't need it turning into another Harambe incident. So uh, I'm going to roll the, the footage here. It happened a few days ago. This is, this is a real thing that happened. Y'all take a look at this. So if you guys could do me a favor and not feed the alligators, that would be fantastic. Anyways, we're going to the Orlando Informer meetup. Let's roll that footage here. So we just got out of the uh, horror makeup show for the day. It's the last showing of the day and it's now just about 8 o'clock, 7.48, which means we're moving on to do the Orlando Informer event very soon. And we're going to be picking up reporting here in just a second. We're probably going to go and try some food out today, and then we're going to try and see as many rides as we can ride and just see what this event has to offer. Anything I'm yet? so excited. Holy Very excited. Shit. <laughs> Another interesting thing about today's trip is we're celebrating our third anniversary since we started dating. Um, We've we, been through a lot. We have been through a lot. We, we started dating uh, in the middle of the pandemic, so, you know, this is interesting. And now we're married. Yay. Look at that. We also got little buttons. I don't know if you can see that very well. But they give you buttons for certain things that you're celebrating at Universal, including anniversaries and uh, ha uh, having happy birthday buttons as well. So you should definitely check that out. So today we're going to be trying all sorts of foods um, and drinks and beverages and everything that they have to offer. And I think we've decided to try butterbeer again because the last time we tried it we really didn't like it much. But I'm scared. I'm scared too. But we've decided to give it a shot. We're going to try every single type of butterbeer there is and ultimately decide which one is our favorite. But we're not sure if we're going to like any of them. But we have been told that if you stir it up it tastes a lot better so we're going to give it a shot. Um, 
Might as well do it while it's free, I guess, right? <laughs> I don't, I, I know I'm not going to like the hot one. I don't like hot beverage. I feel like the hot one might be good because I like hot cocoa, so maybe I'll like this. It's like a cappuccino that tastes kind of butterscotchy, though. You know? It might be good. might not be. We'll find out. We're going to put the hot one here, the frozen here, and the normal here. So the hot is the best, frozen is the second best, and the normal is, eh, it's all right. What do you think? I have the same opinion. The same exact opinion? Okay. How often can you say you can visit Diagon Alley with this few people with it? Look at this. There's barely anyone here. It is amazing. Orlando and former events, definitely worth the money, guys. I think it's a fizzing orange tea or something. Something like that, isn't it? No. Fizzing orange? Fizzing orange tea? What, what is it? Something fizzing orange. I don't remember. Okay. We'll have to go back and look at the names or something. I barely remember my own social security number. Jeez. All right, so we got two more drinks from uh, Diagon Alley. We're going to go ahead and give a shot. Um, this one's like fizzing orange or something. I'm not sure what it's called. I'm gonna go ahead and give it a try and see what it tastes like. I'm kind of scared to be honest. It's fizzing, it's weird looking. This is what it looks like. It's orange. It's orange for sure. This is not blue. Definitely smells orange too. No. This smells like grapefruit. Are you sure it's orange and not grapefruit? It's something. That is a strange taste. It's good though, it's refreshing. It's fruity. I really like it, citrusy and fruity. Well, you don't like it at all, do you? That's tea. That's tea? <coughs> so I was right, it's like fizzing tea, I think. I think it's fizzing orange tea or something like that. She hates tea. She's having trouble right now. You okay? You gonna survive this? She really hates tea. Hey, the dragon's going on. What? Okay, so what's this one called? Lemon squash. So this one's lemon squash. Oh. Oh my god. It's basically just lemonade. But it's the best lemonade I've ever had. Can this I is so some? good. No, you can't. Why is beer so good? It's mine. <laughs> Nice. It's really good. Tell me that's not amazing. She's drinking a lot of it, so clearly she likes it. it tastes like a lemon candy. It does taste like a lemon candy. It's like it's like they melted down um, lemon heads into a drink. It's really good. Which one do you like more? I hate that. Figured. I hate it. The lemon is better. You want some extra butterbeer? No. She still hates butterbeer. Okay, Alisa, let me guess. You? The park is so just there's barely anyone here. The streets are almost empty. We're not like shoulder to shoulder like you are on a normal day. It's it's beautiful. It's amazing and it's nighttime and everything just looks so great. We got the night bus over here. Doing their thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's a figure speech. Yeah, yeah. Uh the wife is in the bathroom right now and then we're gonna head on over to Finnegan's and we're gonna have some hot wings and some Irish uh, mac and cheese. Don't know what that is, but we're gonna give it a try. And then I think we'll head over to the, um, I think we're gonna go check out the the lounge for the Orlando Informer event. We're, we hear there's something about uh, some dancing zombies in there, and they said it seems like Halloween Horror Nights themed stuff, so we're definitely gonna to give that a try. So, uh, we'll see you in a second. Smile.
just way you're ahead, dude. Yeah. <laughs> we're doing some sort of wheel spin up here, and we decided we're going to give it a shot because we don't know what it is, but if we can win something, we want it. For sure. So we're going to give it a shot. So what can we win here? A trail sticker, 20% off merch, uh, dad joke. I think I obviously want the dad joke. That's, that's going to be worth the win here. We're going for the dad joke. I see you have him fall off. Go for it. All right. Hey, that's cool. How do you feel about that? 20% off, 20% off. That's money in my pocket, baby. There you go. Just use that code as promo. Answer the merch only, not it your tickets, okay? okay? Thank you so much. Thank you. You can spin two? Yes. Go for it. Winner, winner, chicken dinner. Happy anniversary. Thank oh, you. Slow play. I like it. That is... Pink. You as well. You want to spin again? Or you want to try a new one? Um, you want to spin off? Or you want to try to spin again? I want to try spin again. Go for it. Okay, let's go for the hard spin. Right sure. Girl wants the dad joke. Give her a dad joke. <laughs> Yellow is light up for spin. Light up for spin. Cool. Good choice too. There you are. Hey, thank you. Okay. Thank you so much. Take care. You have a good night. I got you the light goods. Up this shrimp and you got loot. I got the loot. Got the loot. So I'm riding uh, Transformers alone because my wife doesn't like this ride very much. It makes her pretty sick and dizzy. With all the rides right now at the Orlando Informer event, it's pretty much a walk-on. So, uh, yeah, if you ever want to ride these rides without any issues, come to Orlando Informer event. You can just walk on the ride. himself in the shadows until ready to strike with a killing blow. Attention all Nest personnel, this is General Warshaw in Nest HQ. I'll cut right to the chase. Our Energon detectors indicate the Septicons are swarming the city. This is a coordinated strike. We are facing a heavy sustained attack. There are so few people right now that you're basically getting cars all to yourself. You can just walk on and ride alone. Nope. It's awesome. How beautiful this place is at night. I mean, come on, who wouldn't want to be here? Uh, Irish mac and cheese and hot wings. 
Irish mac and cheese. Yes. <laughs> I'm scared. Why are you scared? Because I usually don't like mac and cheese. Oh. Is it good? What's in it, baby? That's the part I don't know. You don't know what the mystery meat is? I, uh, no, I don't. And I didn't read the description. Mystery meat time. Good? Ah, camera's all wobbly. Five moons out of five. Five what out of what? Five moons out of five. Five moons out of five? Yeah. Why moons? Because the moon is made out of cheese. Oh. You going to try a wing? I'm scared. Come on, put, the, put it in your mouth. That should be what we call this segment, put it in your mouth. No, oh, okay. that's not what we're going to call it. Oh, okay. They're good. They just need more sauce. Need more sauce? Understandable. Like, they're not bad. They just need to be sauced up. Alright, let me get, let me get, let me get a bite of this. Let me get a bite of this mac and cheese here. I get it. I'm scared because you said it's a mystery meat and I don't know what's in it. I tried it. <laughs> you don't like it? That ain't it. That ain't it for me. <coughs> oh. I don't like it. Ugh. More for me. Yeah, there's a lot more for you. I try a wing. These do not look like they're sauced at all. It's chicken. Wow. Finnegan's. It's chicken. <laughs> Finnegan's. It's chicken. Mm. Yeah. It definitely needs more sauce. A lot more sauce. That is not sauced up enough at all. I like how I'm getting more and more decrepit as the night goes on. Look at my hair. Dude, look at my makeup. I have no idea if you're in frame or not. There's so much makeup on the souvenir cup. Just makeup all over the souvenir cup. Yeah. Ugh. There's so much to do with this event, and we've only just scratched the surface of it. We've not even like moved out of this area for the most part. That's insane. There's just too much to do. I think uh, if you're gonna do this event and you can afford it, do both nights, not just one. Uh, otherwise, you're gonna be Russian. Not the not the ethnicity, the the act of rushing. Okay, okay um, <clears throat> I know me saying like five moons out of five is not very descriptive, but that might be the best mac and cheese I've ever had. Like, wow, that is really good. I'd come back here just for the mac and cheese. It's so good. So every ride during this event is basically a walk-on including the mummy and all this other stuff. I think the only ride that really has a crazy weight is usually Hagrid's, of course, and probably Velocicoaster, but just about everything. You just walk right on. So we're heading over to the uh, the lounge where they have all the zombies and all the cool Halloween themed stuff. I think it's called Creepy K. 
Um, it's right over here uh, to the left of the, the New York Public Library, as you can see. So we're going to go give that a shot and see what's going on. So we went to Creepy K. It was, it was alright, um, but they call it a lounge, right? And to be honest with you, it wasn't much of a lounge. There's nowhere to lounge around at all. It was just a bunch of, you know, tables that you stand at. So I'm not quite sure what that's about. They had a couple cool character meet and greets and things like that in there, but that's about it. I didn't really see anything else. I'm not sure what the hype is about. Maybe we just went at the wrong time, I'm not sure, but we, we went in there, walked around for a bit, and just wasn't much to it. What do you what do you think? Wasn't the best? Right. So we're probably gonna go hit the I think we might try the Jimmy Fallon ride. We might hit Fast and Furious. And then we're gonna hit the uh what's it called? Crown Station. King's Cross. King's Cross Station. And we're going to head on over to Islands of Adventure and pick it up over there. We have a cabin to ourselves. Wow, that's rare. Are you excited? Tired? Yeah, I don't blame you. Just got off the train. We're at Hogsmeade now. The full moon's out. Looks really nice. Get a shot of that for you. It's a nice spooky night. Jesus.
just that. Uh, apparently, we have Kevin Mitchell coming to us live from Wall Street. In a city of tumultuous turmoil, Wall Street is eerily silent tonight. While Doug Ock and his gang wreak havoc on the worst of Manhattan, the imagined streets are but low. back to the hotel um, I've never felt so rough in my life um, I um, I felt better when I got stuck for 19 hours at an airport without a hotel to sleep in or anything um, I don't know, um, uh, I'm dying. <laughs> um, my watch says that I have about 15,000 steps and, uh, 4,000 calories burnt. Man, I, I, that's like a gym membership on crack. Another dumb work. 